بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم We all know that human life relies on essentials like air, water and food. However, there is a celestial presence without which none of those necessities would exist. A radiant ball of fire suspended in the vast cosmic emptiness. It is the sun, this potent and mysterious entity that performs a sacred and indispensable role in the tapestry of human existence. The sun sustains humanity by providing the essential elements for life on Earth. Through its gravitational pull, the sun keeps our planet in orbit, right within the habitable sweet spot, ensuring a stable environment. The sunlight it radiates is crucial for the growth of plants, which serve as a primary source of food for both animals and humans. Additionally, the sun's role in the photosynthesis process generates oxygen, vital for respiratory functions. Without the sun's heat, Earth would become inhospitable, leading to extreme conditions that would jeopardize the interconnected web of life, affecting everything from climate patterns to the availability of water resources. In essence, the sun is indispensable for maintaining the delicate balance that sustains human life and the broader ecosystem. In short, without the sun, Earth would just be a solid rock covered with ice and bereft of any sign of life. So, if someone were to inquire about the significance of the sun, our response would be, it is absolutely indispensable. This very sentiment is echoed in numerous traditions, including from the Imam of our time himself. In one of his letters, he declares, regarding the way to derive benefit from me during my occultation, it is like deriving benefit from the sun when veiled by clouds from observers. Verily, he said, I am a sanctuary for the people of the earth, akin to how the stars provide a sanctuary for the denizens of the heavens. Obviously, that being said, there is a stark difference between benefiting from our star while veiled in the dense clouds of occultation and witnessing the luminous sun in its complete splendor. Hence, it becomes imperative for us to fervently pray for the dispersal of those menacing clouds, yearning for the unobstructed manifestation of God's guiding light. Allah describes that moment in Surah Az-Zumar as such, and the earth will shine with the light of its Lord. Mufaddal, one of the companions of Imam al-Sadiq narrates from him as having said, when our Qa'im arises, the earth will illuminate with the light of its Lord and people will be independent of the sun's light and darkness will vanish. Allahumma ajjil waliyya kal faraj.